representing the 27 to 30 foot class in the center console category. The Contender 30ST has an overall length of 29 feet 8 inches, a beam of 9 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 600. Designed to fish in the roughest of waters, she has a draft of 18 inches, a dead rise of 24.5 degrees, a dry weight of 5,450 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 265 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, I think it's very fitting that we're doing it out here in blue water this morning because that's where this boat's at home. Contender builds a huge line of boats. I mean, they're building boats from 22 to 40 feet, but this boat right here is a 30 ST. This represents kind of a bridge between the smaller boats they're building and the super boats they're building, and there's a good reason for it, Rick. Everything you can get in a 39-footer is, is under the deck of this boat here. This is the first big boat, if you will, that Contender puts steps in that's one of the reasons why the fuel economy and the speed so good. This boat right here will go 40 miles an hour. You're getting one and a half miles a gallon, one six. But let's start going through this boat. And the thing that built Contender, in my opinion, I was around for the beginning uh, on these boats, is big open spaces and pure function everywhere. And it starts right up here on the bow, doesn't it? Well, yeah, absolutely. Let's have a look around. Well, I tell you, Contender offers some great new seating options, but I love a boat this way. Yeah, who doesn't really like the pure simplicity of the original center console design? And we're standing on it right here. Having these boxes accessible and below deck where you can fish all the way around, you never have to move a rod, it's a simple, great idea. This deck is open, like you said, and I really enjoy 360 degree fishability, like you said. And this is a really big deck up here for a 30 foot boat, too. This is a 560 quart box underneath my feet. Behind that, there's a 300 quart. In the back, there's a couple of 75 gallon boxes as well. I love the wide open spaces up here, but let's go back and look at some of the features that make this boat special. Rick Contender offers this console in three different configurations. This is the sport console right here. This is the standard console, and this is the one I really like. This console has a head inside, but I like this configuration with the seat in the front, I noticed riding on it today, I really, really got a kick out of this high seat back. It's very comfortable, especially when you're going 60 miles an hour. There's also an insulated drink cooler underneath the front of it. You fish with me enough, you notice one thing that I never stop doing is looking around in the water. You really want to have wide open visibility. This is three panels of strata glass here, and it's very open. It's like being in a fish tank looking out. It's really, really nice to be able to see everything. Now, another thing that's going to aid your visibility on this boat, too, is having that cooler blue underneath. And the black powder coating, it really swallows up a lot of glare. It's going to be much easier on your eyes. It's going to make you a lot more able to focus as the day wears on. But talk about visibility and easy to see. Look at this panel to put your electronics on. This panel is big enough to put two huge displays on, all your instrumentation right here, yet it doesn't interfere with your eye line up here. Everything about this speaks contender to me. Rick, with independent seating right here, you've got the option to stand and lean against it or sit in it. Armrest flips up, flips down. They also slide forward and back. George, come back here with me. I want to show you something that made Contender so popular. They certainly didn't waste the space under these LeBrock seats. Absolutely, Rick. I mean, why let that space go to waste? They put a really nice, frigid, rigid fiberglass cooler on a slide track, which gives you another place to put food or drinks or baits if you need it, or fish even for that matter. And when it slides out, it locks in the open position creating another place to sit, too. And that's where I want my crew to be sitting, George. That's the best seat in the house for watching your baits, which somebody ought to be doing all the time. This boat's got three live wells, and they're all really big live wells. You've got a live well in the deck right here that holds 60 gallons. You've got two 50-gallon live wells across the transom. It's a whole lot more important that your bait's comfortable than it is that you are. Absolutely, and they utilize the sea chest for these live wells. I mean, they're three separate pumps. The sea chest is a great idea. I mean, you've always got a ready water supply. You're gonna have the best quality bait with these three tanks. There's two 300 quart fish boxes right here alongside of the live well. And if you're fishing back here too, Rick, you've got that little bit of toe kick going all the way around here. You've really got a good grip on the deck. You know, Rick, one final thing too here, you know, like every contender, this pass-through door is really useful to get out. There's gonna be days you're gonna to wanna to jump in the water. You know, getting out to that platform there is super easy through that door. If you wanna fish offshore seriously, but you've got to stay within the realms of reality. The Contender 30 ST is one you got to see. George, a great day on the water is coming to an end, but I got to tell you, that Seaborne FX21, fun just describes that boat. Hey, speaking about fun, 
I rode that bonefish Melvado 26 until I couldn't take it anymore, and I still didn't get enough of it. What a great little boat. That's a wicked little boat. Contender 30 ST, we always love what Contender sends us. They're the industry standard in so many areas, and that's a good one. You better believe it. Hey, if you'd like any more information about the boats you've seen today or any boats you see on Florida Sportsman Best Boat, visit floridasportsman.com. Or we'll see you next week on another edition of Florida Sportsman Best Boat.